voice is, by definition, a strong woman. Women are like tea bags. We don't know our true strength until we're in hot water. We all know the best conversations happen in the ladies' room. Because it was all yellow. Hello, my ladies. Hello. Good morning. Do you, do, you <laughs> notice, sunshine. do you notice anything different about me? No. Yes, it's cloudy outside did and you sunny get, in here. Did you get glasses? <laughs> <laughs> There's something different. My hair is yellow. It is. Ah! It's very yellow. It's fun, though. I was very nervous. I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull it off. <laughs> of course but you But I are. like it now. So growing up when days. you were blonde, people said you, people used to say, "Oh, you have yellow hair when you have blonde hair." But yours is like full really? on yellow, it's like banana yellow. yellow, yellow like a taxi cab, <laughs> even brighter than it's a taxi even bright. cab. It's, it's like a neon, yeah, yeah, yeah. banana, yeah, but a sexy one. Shout yes. out to Lisa, <laughs> blow and glow, a, a she, blow and go salon. Wait a minute, yeah. it's a sexy oh, yes. neon banana. I just want to get that out there. She totally rocked it, and, and I guess the bottom part glows in the dark. So I'm gonna have to go to find a place that has black lights and see if it actually does. Wait, do they do color there at Blow and Go? Yeah. yeah. I've been going there for like almost three years. What? Yeah. All of the <laughs> colors that I did like last summer, yeah. like Lisa's the one that's done it all. Oh. How does one make one's hair so uh, bright and illuminescent? So my hair was already very blonde, very platinum the last time I got it done in the beginning of June. So my hair was already kind of like ready to do like a color like this. Mm-hmm. And that's all we did. She just slapped a color on and boom, my hair took it. Wow. It, it took it all right. It took it. We did like three different shades of yellow. So it's like darker up top and then it like gradually fades into like the neon color that you were saying, Jen. I l- I'm like obsessed. But you got your hair done too. <laughs> I did, but like it, I just did balayage. Yeah. <laughs> Boring. It ain't yellow, dude. Here's the thing though. What? My hairdresser, I love her. And every time I show her pictures and explain, we're always on the same page. You know, like she gets it and it always turns out like, even better than I even think, you know? This time, the color that we used processed really well, so it's way brighter than the plan was. So I might have to go back in a couple weeks and we're gonna tone it down a little bit, give it more of- I think it'll tone it down itself. I think yeah. I think like the more After you some wash washes, it, uh-huh. yeah, it, I just, it'll tone itself out. It's or I'm you not can get used, like a shampoo for it. I think it, it looks too. good. I'm not used to the bright. Let it go. It's summertime. It it's makes summertime. you look That's really true. tan. Oh, thanks. You're you're welcome. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to keep it then. <laughs> I have another question. Well, so my son went through his blue hair stage, you know, when he was about <laughs> you know, 12, I guess. That was me when I was like 29. Yeah. <laughs> Had to have his blue hair. And then everything that was like his shirts were blue, the pillowcase was blue, oh, the God. sheets were blue. Everything. Oh, Lord. I, do you, I, does that yellow come out of your hair like all the time? Is that natural to have that happen or did he get like cheap? The um, dye, no, that happens. The dye, yeah. I mean, it was on my fingers and stuff when I was like touching my hair. But I feel like now, just because it's so fresh and I just got it done a couple days ago, I think, yeah, that's going to happen. Because mm. his kept coming out all the way till it wasn't, wasn't there anymore. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That Did he use to like me. box color? Was it like the cool? Yeah, was it like, no, I paid for Manic it. Panic. I took oh. it somewhere. Oh, that was interesting. The stuff. Back in the Money day. back. No, I'm kidding. Ah. All right, so that's awesome. So, did, yeah. why, did you? Why did you do that? Is there something that triggered you to make your hair turn I, yellow? There was just something. I just <laughs> felt it. I don't know what I felt, but I was just like, you know what? I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't care. I just wanted to change. I just wanted something drastic uh-huh. because yeah. the last couple of times I've gotten my hair done, I'm like, this is stupid. I, 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 I thought it looked great. No, I needed something <laughs> crazy, dude. People get their hair done to make it look the same. It is true. You yeah. know, you want to hide what's changing about your hair. You want to keep yeah. it the same way. But I needed to change. That's me. But you, but you know what it could have been? Me too. Was the Mercury Retrograde. Wait, Mercury Gatorade? What? <laughs> what is this? Mercury Gatorade. Well, explain, explain to me, sisters, because okay. I don't know anything <laughs> about all, any of this. Well, you're about to know. Um, if shit's going crazy in your life, this is most likely the reason. Okay. So... <laughs> Preface, I'm very into astrology. Yeah. Like, it's like a big thing. I feel like everybody has certain traits of like whatever, Energies. Yeah, whatever their chart, quote unquote. Because there's like more than just like, what what sign are you, Jen? Libra. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> no. So like, there's more than just like what's called your sun sign. Right. So like, so like I'm a like Gemini. A, there's like a whole chart. I'm so crazy. there's like your sun sign, which is like, you know, the day that your birthday falls or the month that your birthday falls. Right. In. Then you have like a moon sign and then you have like a... Mercury sign mm-hmm. and your Venus and like all that stuff and as it falls out on like this quote unquote chart pretty much describes like you your personality traits like what you like what you don't like and stuff like that. Yeah. Now when Mercury goes into retrograde Gatorade. Okay. The Mercury <laughs> like the planet. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. 
<laughs> I think, and, wait, and, and Gatorade like the drink? Yes. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I was thinking like mercury on like the scientific, like what? the... Like the thermometer, mercury inside a thermometer. Yeah, no. yeah. Oh. the actual planet. So okay. what happens is it like as mercury comes through, I think it's like it like slides by Earth or whatever, like whatever its orbit. Mm-hmm. The way they align. The way they align. It's at one point it, mercury like actually kind of stops and it does like this weird like kind of backspin or whatever. Mm-hmm. So kind of like when two cars are like moving past each other and one looks like it's going backwards, even yeah. though it's not, it's still pushing forward. But that one little moment where you pass by, it looks like it's going a different way. That's what's happening with mercury and earth in the orbit right now and usually when that happens is that when the fit hits the shan yes. so yeah <laughs> exactly. yeah you know so communications off technology's off it messes with travel yeah oh my gosh yes. you, do you cry for no reason sometimes yes, yes. oh there it is <laughs> you could lose you could lose things this things is- can break down on you oh, wow. that is legit how long have we been in this uh so it started on sunday july 7th and there's a couple of them a year so there's right. one back in march oh. and then there's gonna be another one i think like end of october when this does it end like- so it ends on so it's <laughs> happening from july 7th through July 31st, so the end of we the month. We got the whole dang Shoot. month. Oh, now, no. let me tell like, you. Just kind of got like chills Let me tell you. You're not supposed to like re-sign or like renegotiate any contracts. Yeah, If okay. you're looking to get like a new car, you should probably wait. Wait. Just, just go shopping. Just go window shopping for cars right now. Yeah. Same with like big electronic purchases. So like cell phones, um, laptops, even mm-hmm. like washers and dryers, mm-hmm. like they can go wrong. If you have like a lot of files on like your technology or like your electronics, you should back them up because sometimes it can go. Oh boy. They'll they just were. like go away. Here's a question. Did you press record on this? I sure did. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I'm just thinking that. The I did. We and we're, yeah, we're in the production mode too, so we're not like just talking over the air right now. Oh, no. <laughs> good question though. Just I like checking. I had to double question. check. I was like, oh God. Don't look on your face for that one split <laughs> second. You're like, Oh, yes, yes, I did, I did. And and sometimes it messes with your travel, too. So, like, if you're traveling, like, your flight could get delayed or yeah. canceled or, like, your car breaks down or just, like, it's just... Like the oh, energy. Oh, if you go on a houseboat. Yeah, if you go... In a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like me. Girl, be careful. <laughs> Make sure you got a life jacket. Crap. <laughs> so, are you guys particularly feeling it besides... Like, say you didn't know that this was Mercury in retrograde. Mm-hmm. Would yeah. you be feeling it, you think? I mean, are you... I yes. think I am feeling it to a certain degree because I feel like I'm just annoyed for some reason and I'm not even getting ready to start my period and which normally that's yeah. when I get that way. And to your point, Rebecca, of like crying for no reason, like totally crying. I was just for like crying the other night for no reason. I'm like, why what am I crying? <laughs> not even on my period. The energy, the energy's off. The, the energy. energy is different. And I don't want to say it's off. But there's just maybe more of it than usual. But you were feeling something yesterday. What were you oh, feeling? People were just annoying me yesterday. So I, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like but I don't you think know, we would have felt that way if. So I'll do it in news. Where I'll go. Gosh, was it a full moon last night? Right. Or, yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Because because people kind of get kind of wackadoodle sometimes, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. And you don't really know. There's no a practical application or yeah. explanation. I for listened it. to the news this morning on the way in to you guys. <laughs> there was just story after story. Yeah. I was like, "What is going How on?" How many <laughs> random stabbings? Not just a stabbing, oh but yes. random, dude, random, random stabbing. Yes. Bull crap, dude. Wait, what happened? These people were in Northeast and they were leaving a wedding they at like stabbed. midnight. Well, they didn't get stabbed, but they were like held up by gunpoint <gasps> for getting robbed because they're just visiting going to a wedding. So, side note, but Crazy. I just think that's bullshit. Ooh. It is. It's kind of nutty. Wet. Crazy so, town. Um, we were kind of getting into this a little bit because you were talking about you got a, a um, psychic reading. Yeah. Yes. yes, I did. Yes, I did. So tell, you tell do, us you tell. about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, her name was Sarah. And Sarah? She is that Sarah? Mystical Visions over on Alberta. <laughs> no, she was like super cool. <laughs> and she had three different kinds of readings. A tarot card reading, which uh-huh. you said you had, Rebecca. I've had, yeah. Um, a palm reading, which I've had before. That lady that's down at the Saturday market, I don't know if you guys ever seen her. She's like this old lady dude. And she uh, like, she's, she's probably just, I don't just, know how reliable oh, yeah, she is. She's a little, <laughs> she's a little loopy. <laughs> she's like, you girls, all you do is have fun, have fun. But anyways, okay. that was that one. So I'm, this chick, <laughs> I wanted a full on psychic reading. Like I just wanted her to feel my vibes, feel my energy, tell me what was going on. And it was, I was in there for like 45 minutes. Whoa. And she was just, we, she was like, what do you really want to get out of this? I'm like, well, I want to know about my love life, relationships, and I also want to know about my career. Mm-hmm. And the career, like everything was just like spot on, like just about everything that's been unfolding for me for this last year. And like everything was just like connecting the dots. And with the career thing, she said, come August, you're going to have, she's like, I see a fork in the road. I see mm-hmm. two, I, th- I see two things happening here. She's like, I see one, you're going to have to make a choice in which I, I, 
to your point, low of like astrology and stuff, I'm always reading my horoscopes. I'm always reading stuff like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I want somebody to just tell me what my life is going to be like. <laughs> Um, but she said, you know, you're going to have to make this decision. And she's like, there, I see one choice where it's going to have to be like financial, job, career. And I see another choice that's like fun, creative, something you've always wanted to do. She's like, do you know what those two choices would be? And I'm like, well, my contract is up in August. So, Whoa. So that's something. Whee! Yeah, 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 yeah. And Survivor, they're supposedly supposed to be calling people back for Survivor Oh, in you August. did that June 1st. And I did that in oh, June yeah. with Lo. Yep. So I don't know. Oh, Lo, you know. did it too? I didn't try out. No. You just went. No, she just was my support. Yep. And so then that like gave me the chance. I recorded the whole thing. I don't think she knew. Or maybe she did. <laughs> <laughs> she does now. Yeah, she does. So she I want to listen back to the whole thing. Um, but then she also said October was a month. And she said, you know, she was le- writing down these letters of like names and stuff that have like significance in my life with romantic mm. bullshit. And I'm just like, what? So I don't know. I, I really believe it. And I'm really curious to see how August unfolds after this Mercury retrograde. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, we hope you stay. We oh, hope I want to stay. Why don't you go on Survivor and then win the million, then come back <laughs> and just kind of work for fun. And then fun. I'll give you guys yeah. all just just pressure. the money. Exactly. <laughs> so I had a, I actually, um, when I lived in Utah a long time ago, I actually um, was friends with a tarot card reader. Yeah. And she was kind of witchy. I mean, she was like a friend of a friend. Yeah. But I loved her to death. She was but she was witchy, like she was. Uh-huh. like, um, Wicked. And she used to get kind of mad at me. So I'm a Virgo, and she would try to throw cards on me. But uh, the thing about <laughs> Virgos, and maybe it's not just Virgos, but mm-hmm. if you're a Virgo out there listening, maybe you can understand. We do a lot of inner debate. Uh-huh. Like there's never just like, I, I never just go, that's what I'm going to do. Right. right. I'm like, but what if, what if? Right. What? It's like you get caught in the gray, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's called, um, uh, was that paralysis, analysis, analysis, okay. paralysis. Okay, so she used to get so crazy because she'd be trying to read me and she'd be like, oh, oh okay, stop. You clear your mind. Because wow. it would literally throw, like, give her mixed signals. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. got to read it. Be open. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. She'd be like, oh, let me do this again. She's like, she would get so frustrated with me. And I'm like, okay, I'm taking deep breaths. And stuff. <laughs> but she pegged that I was going to meet a blonde. Ooh. I was very specific about that. Wow. That's all, just the blonde. Interesting. So I was picturing a different kind of blonde, if you know what I mean. I found a different kind of blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Not a banana yellow one. But, no, no. But a pretty one. Yeah. Uh, and then um, she also predicted I would have a son, which was, you know, it happened years and years later, but she's right. Right, Whoa. right. And I knew when I was pregnant, knew I was going to have a boy. I knew from the get. So weird. Yeah. So I'm cool. telling you, man, and, and, and kind, all, yeah. the universe, I don't, I don't really believe in like, a Buddha or a God or the, you know what I'm saying? I believe I'm like spiritual. I believe that there is something out there. I don't know what it is, uh-huh. but I believe. I know. And I, and I also <laughs> believe there's a lot of people out there that think they have the ability and they don't. They're full of crap. Mm-hmm. So the, the, therein lies the, the rub, right? You got to yeah. find one that you really feel like maybe has some little connection, some mm-hmm. intuitiveness. Mm-hmm. How do you find someone like that? Um, like, how do you know when somebody's not I full just, of crap? I just I stumbled like, upon this chick, dude. Yeah. But I, I, I get what you're asking, Jen. And honestly, I feel like you just have to fill it out with your own like kind of street smarts like you know what i mean mm-hmm. you can call some someone's off, oh yeah i can sh- bs it's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like finding that's a re- mate you'll kiss really a lot of frogs it. yeah you know I mean? like i feel like with these types of um you know mediums or like spiritualists or whatever like you could look at somebody and be like you're full of sh-, yeah mm-hmm. you know or you can look at somebody and be like okay i kind of get the vibe from you let's try yeah. this out you ever try yeah. to manipulate them because I've, I've gone to these ones where i go i just <laughs> I have them curves and just see if they Bite, and sometimes they don't. I'm like, wow. But okay. this lady used to give me the chills all the time. Like she, I mean, I happened to know her a little bit. So it wasn't like she was trying to dupe me or anything. Right. She would just pick up on stuff that would like make me freak out a little bit. Yeah. Wow. But, you know. I was looking at just like on YouTube, you know, you can look up like tarot card readings and stuff. There's people who do that and post videos up just to kind of compare and contrast mm-hmm. of like readings. And a lot of the stuff that I've been watching is very similar to what she was saying. So it's like. Yeah, these people. I don't know how they get this. They go to they go to an eight day how to be a tarot no. card reader. I don't school. know. I, they just feel like those two mediums that came here when yeah. we when we talked to them at the well, station. That was that was a that's a whole nother like side. world because they feel like they feel um, like spirits. Spirits. My yeah. sister's dead. Is she, you remember Sylvia Brown? 
Mm-hmm. She was like yeah. the TV reader. She was always on TV doing yeah. spiritual readings. Mm-hmm. My sister went to go see her about the time my dad died, right after my dad died. And there, she's in this big audience and Sylvia Brown was like, you know, who wants to, you know, a reading and people had their hands up and she points to, she goes over by my sister where she's sitting and her friend had her hand up and she's like, no, not you, you. And she pointed to my sister. Whoa. And just out of the whole crowd, my sister wasn't even vying yeah, right, to be yeah. chosen. Right. And she goes, you just lost somebody in your life and just kind of basically pegged at my sister's head. She's in the audience Whoa. just sobbing. Dying. Yeah, yeah, dying. Oh like, oh my yeah, gosh. We, we had but, a couple psych, uh, psychic mediums or spiritual mediums, however you want to call them, in the studio a couple months ago. Yeah. And um, they were doing like... Um, you know, like something like Sylvia Brown, like just kind of in an audience or whatever. And I mean, they were coming in here. We've never met them before in our lives. Didn't tell them anything, anything. about us. And they were just reading everybody like a f- book. Yeah. Wow. Like it, wow. was, it was weird. I you, wonder if yeah. they're, um, what's it called, empathic? Like they pick up on feelings. I'm sure like they are. Like deep feelings. I'm sure they are. Yeah. But the way it's that they were describing so it, like how they can like kind of pinpoint like, somebody's like maybe somebody's death or whatever like for example kelsey her grandpa died of like a stroke i think it was Mm -hmm. or it had something to do with like an aneurysm or brain aneurysm or something something and one of the guys was like as soon as you walked in the door my head started pounding oh is that crazy yeah Yeah. Yeah. and then like started to talk to her about like her grandpa yeah and she was like yeah that's my grandpa it's just kind of like talking about ghosts in general i Mm -hmm. mean you you can believe or not believe but there's an adrenaline and excitement in talking about the possibility for me Right. Yeah. You know, I don't know that I would jump, you know, into something huge based on one psychic's one recommendation. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But Absolutely. it's a cross check. It's like, wow, that's that's kind of how, you know, mm-hmm. kind of how I was feeling anyway. And it's yeah. reinforcement. Yeah. But it is kind of exciting to think about the possibilities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jen, would you ever get a psychic reading? I don't know. <laughs> Let's make her. Let's make her. Go on, do no. it. I don't think so. I feel, really? I feel like life, I feel like everyone's on a path and I don't think you can change it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to know. Yeah. Like, I think I want to make decisions based on my own wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I knew that something was going to happen or if somebody told me, like, for instance, like they said you were going to have a son. If in my future pregnancies, in my head, I think I would have a false sense of, um, like, if I really wanted a son and then they said, like, oh, you're going to have another son. And then I had a daughter. I wouldn't want that you know what? disappointment. I, I should be more specific mm. because she didn't specifically say I was going to have a son. She says, I see you standing there holding a little boy's hand, which I, you know, and I, I was wanting to get pregnant at the time. Yeah, so right. I think I just put that together. And that's and that's part of the, 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 the gray area, I guess, yeah. is that you can kind of interpret it the way no one ever goes. You're going to get a job. You're going to be an accountant and right, you're going right. to make $100,000 really and you're going to be up, happy. up for interpretation. It's very vague. It's totally up for interpretation. Mm-hmm. So her, what she told Isa about, um, but the you're going to have a career change or the whatever change. It could be any one of It could be anything. Things, yeah. You know, is so. it kind of like they hold up, a, like the psychiatrist holds up the picture of like a blob and they say, what do you see? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Like, it's up to you your go, blob. own. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you're right. Different people have different ways of going about it. The tarot Absolutely. cards have different figures on them. And when you lay them down, it, whether they're upside down mm-hmm. or in the yep. pattern that they come in, they it, 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 tells, different, it tells them a different story. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it might be a strong travel card. It might be a strong uh, maternity card. Yeah, or I'm not sure what all the cards are. Or love. I or... think another reason I probably wouldn't do that is I'm like a very creative mind. Mm-hmm. And I constantly think. And I have an issue with like creating false realities. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if I had somebody tell me something, even if it wasn't, it, even if it was vague, right. I would start creating scenarios <laughs> and places and things like and, psych yourself out well there are yeah. some spiritual yeah. people that do believe that you create your own reality absolutely li- like literally create your own and reality like you just by things. just yeah. by your thoughts so yeah i believe so that that's another thing to freak you out this whole stuff should for everything we're talking about should be freaking you out right now yeah. <laughs> i'm freaked out mercury's not spinning in the right direction <laughs> what's mercury, up with it's that just, it's just gonna slam into earth and we're gonna the be only thing big we're, planet the only thing we're comfortable with is with a gatorade and <laughs> your beautiful yellow hair <laughs> what's Thank your you. favorite what's your favorite flavor Gatorade, really quick. Blue. Yeah. There's more than one blue. Oh, yeah, which frost. blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The light blue? Yeah. 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 Frost, frost. Glacier frost. freeze. Oh, Ooh, that's good too, though. Glacier and the yellow's freeze. good too. Now I have to pee. Cool blue. <laughs> 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 that's it. That's it.